welcome to Studio From Home from the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. My name is Emma and I'm one of the gallery animators here at the Art Gallery and today I'm super excited to show you a fun and simple art activity that you can do at home. The activity that we are going to make today is textured fiber landscapes. This activity is inspired by the artwork of Deanne Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick creates intricate, colorful rugs using wool cloth and a technique called rug hooking. Having grown up in Newfoundland and now working out of her studio in Amherst, Nova Scotia, her work often depicts maritime landscapes. And though we are not going to be using the technique of rug hooking today, we are going to be inspired by Deanne Fitzpatrick's use of fibers, colors, and textures in our own texture textile creation. To make this, we're going to use materials that you can find around your home. So let's get started. To do this activity, you'll need some materials that you probably already have around your house. You'll need a piece of cardboard, so you could use maybe an old cereal box or an old box that you have from the mail. You need some scissors, a marker, some white glue, or you could also use hot glue, and you'll need some hot glue sticks. When using hot glue though, I really suggest that you have a parent or guardian that can help you with it as it can get very hot. And then you're also gonna need lots of different fibers. So I have lots of different types of fabric here, just different scraps, lots of different colors, lots of different patterns that can help inspire you. Some felt, I got some yarn, some different sorts of, sort of string, and you might even have different you know, embroidery floss or different type of strings. Really scavenge what you see. And the fabric that you can find, it can be old clothes that you want to cut up, old rags, anything that you think would look great for this artwork. Okay, let's begin. So you're going to want to find a picture of a landscape or imagine a landscape that you really connect with. And then you're going to draw outlines of the details of the landscape with your marker on the cardboard. For me, I really like winter. So I want to do a big sort of wintry, blue and white, snowy covered hills theme. So once you've drawn the outline of your cardboard, you're gonna find the materials that connect to the image that you have imagined. So for me, I'm wanting to do a snowy scene. So I'm gonna look for lots of different whites and blues and light colors. And sometimes you might find that you actually like the back of the fabric more than the front. So once you've found the fabrics and textiles that you would like to use, you're going to start cutting them out to fit into the image. And they don't have to be exact as your image before. And you're going to put lots of glue, get those corners. Some of you may find it easier to cover the whole background first and then layer on top. I think I'm going to do big sections and keep gluing them on. Sometimes you can pick them up before they're dry and tuck in some of your other ones. Especially for me, it's easier with the layering to do that. And some of you, like I said, might find it easier to put a big piece down first. And it's okay if your image changes while you're making your artwork. Sometimes as you start working with the different fibers, you feel that you want to showcase different elements of the textures or the patterns. And so it's not exactly as you drew and that's okay. Your drawing is just a great starting point to get you going and excited about the different possibilities that you can create. I 
it's really fun to play with different fibers and textures and see how they relate to each other. I'm wanting this to look like that cold, snowy, windy breeze that passes through in a blizzard. I'm just pulling this yarn apart and I'm really liking the way that the fibers are stretching out and forming and it almost looks like a snowy cloud. So this is my final textured textile landscape artwork inspired by Deanne Fitzpatrick's rug hooking. And as you can see, I just trimmed up the edges here to finish off the artwork and polish it off. We would love to see what you created, so please tag us on social media. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more lessons from Studio From Home from the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia.